Okay then, hello, hello, and good morning. Testing, testing. There we go. Hello, hello, and good morning to you all. Uh, it is Saturday the 13th of August 2022. We're going to be setting up for some PTCGO in a couple of minutes. So please, while I finish getting ready on my end, get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, get yourself comfortable. Please do your best to beat the heat, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. See you then. Hello, hello, and good morning to you all, my lads, my lasses, my non-binary compasses. It is I, Captain Steel 379 on the microphone this morning, as it always is. How are you doing today? Uh, I can't believe it's already 11 o'clock, and it's 25 degrees here in the UK. It sucks. It really does suck. It really does. But, uh, yes, we are beginning our Saturday morning off, going into the lunchtime period with some PTCGO, as always, on the channel. Aren't we all very, very happy? <sighs> so, as it says in the description, we're going to be playing a couple of fun decks, uh, that being uh, this this cutesy little Ambipalm Grass Acceleration deck. Uh, we're also going to be playing some Melmetal, uh, Melmetal Magnet, so that's going to be Magnemite, Jeraludin, uh, origin form Dialga is a 2-2 tech with, you know, a 3-2 Melmetal VMAX, which it, it's it been, it's been interesting, let's put it that way. We've, of course, got our Melmetal coin, which I, I do like. I mean, I will admit, I don't have the most emotional attachment to Melmetal, but it is one of the greatest legendary or mythical Pokemon they've made in quite a number of years. Genuinely quite a number of years. Uh, we're also going to be playing... Uh, if we have a quick look over here, Titan Dragon. So, uh, one of uh, one of each Reggie combined with a, a few uh, Dragon Energy to go for stuff like Garchomp Giratina, Mega Needle, Guzzlord, Flygon V, Garchomp V. You know, people pe people have played that deck, you know, a few times, but uh, it, I genuinely do love it. I genuinely love it. Genuinely love it. And uh, so. But the other big deck we're going to be playing today will be... Where the hell is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
in standard, of course, we're going to be playing this Reggie, this Reggie deck, you know. Again, one of my absolute favorites in the fact that, you know, there is such an amazing Reggie deck in the format makes me very happy. I mean, is it perfect? Absolutely not. It, it, isn't, it isn't perfect, but, uh, you know, it, it, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. <sighs> so then. Let's say we start off with the Ambipom deck in standard. You know, let's start off. Let's start off today with a little bit of Javality, and we are going to be getting rid of the starting soon for we have begun. We're going to drop a link to our Discord in the chat, so if you want to keep up to date with everything that's going on behind the scenes, you can. Let's stick Ambipom behind our Spector playing cards. And lastly, let's choose our battle music for something as goofy as Ambipom. There's only one choice. There's only one choice. And that is going to be the Mirror B battle theme from Pokemon XD Girl of Darkness. One of my personal favorite tracks. So let's get that on and let's get the games on. And away we go. Okay, so, wow, we're already in a match. Good. Uh, call the coin for the tail. Now, it really doesn't, it doesn't matter if we go first or second here, but we do want to go first. If we're ever given the choice, we do want to go first, because we rely a lot on evolutionary Pokemon. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this isn't good. This is not good. Really could have done with a Badoo for an Apalm here. Okay, that's not good. This is not good. Let's let's not kid ourselves here. This is not good. Okay, I highly doubt they'll be able to set up the Zacian in one turn, but it also depends on what else they're playing. Okay, so goodbye double metal energy, of course, setting up for... What's the word I'm looking for here? Metal Saucer. They have a gold Zacian. I've actually got the full art Zacian IRL. And... Okay, so no energy acceleration. Good, 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 good. Okay, and we can start bringing this back. We can start bringing this back here. I have no choice. I've got to attach energy to Cherubi. I have to attach energy to Cherubi. You know, I have to try to play down my hand as much as possible at this point. Okay, trick and choose. They could get rid of another energy here. No, they just draw the top card. That, I mean, don't blame them. Quick Ball. What they get with a Quick Ball here? Luminion? Luminion's not a bad shout. Getting rid of Ultra Ball. Bronzor? I want to say bron oh, Bronzor. Bronzor. Bronzor could actually be good here. Maybe another big bad metal type like uh, Dialga? But no, they, oh shit, they're actually th showing off all uh, the three different like uh, variations. All three different variations of Zacian here. Okay, so of course they hit the heads on the crushing hammer. There's an Intrepid Sword, that's going to get them the third energy. There it is, I called it, I called it, I called it. Okay, uh, yeah, we need to start... Uh, we need to start uh, clawing this back as fast as possible. So I'm gonna attach the twin energy to the Cherubi. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the Professor for Search. We just we just need to keep playing our hand down. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna evolve into the Cherum. We can set up an Apalm here. Play the Pokeball. Tails. That's a, that's upsetting. Uh, play the Glimwood, and then we can Industrious Incisors for two cards. Okay, we're going to Spring Bloom to a palm. Okay, here we go. We're going to Level Ball straight away for another a palm. I hate to do this. We need to retreat the Cherubi with the Twin Energy to go into the a palm. Okay, here we go. Bustle. Come on. Tails. Come on. Heads, please. Yes! A palm is invincible for the turn. He's invincible for the turn. Which is what we want to see. It's what we want to see. We want to see plenty of Apalm uh, being invincible. Okay, so there's Crystal Cave, which means we can play the other Glimwood down. Hallelujah. Cape of Toughness, given Zacian 270 HP. 
I hope they try and attack. Trying to attack it would be absolutely hilarious, but they're probably just going to interrupt it. No! Oh my god, they do try and attack. <laughs> oh, okay, so apparently they did not know what, uh, they didn't know, they didn't know what Bustle actually did, but fine. So there's that, there's that. What we're going to do is play the Glimwood. I hate to play the Ordinary Vod like this, but we do need to, uh, we do need to stick some stuff back into the deck. So we put back both Ambipom, along with the Grass Energy. Now we're gonna play. We're gonna play Professor's Research straight away. That way, then, if we do play down our hand, there we go. If we do play down our hand, we can <laughs> uh, very, very happily just uh, then use Industrious Incisors, and we're also gonna stick down another Badoof at this point. There we go. What a fantastic hand! We get Industrious Incisors for two. Another Grass Energy. And a blunder policy. So we're going to stick the blunder policy on the amber palm to draw more cards. We're going to uh, use spring bloom to put another energy onto the onto the a palm to set that up to evolve into amber palm. Full tilt fling. One heads, one tails, two tails. I would prefer two tail. I would prefer two heads, please. One heads, yes. Two heads, yes. One tails. Perfect. That's the absolute perfect result because we get to do a little bit of damage and we get to draw three cards. Okay, and Primate Dexterity is a... Ah, oh, so that's two Glimwood Tangles gone now. I think we've got two more in the deck, hopefully. Okay, Silene. Two coins uh, for each head put a card on top of the deck. One Tails, one... Oh, two Tails. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that actually sucks. I, I feel bad about that, kind of. Okay, now this Asian V can't attack because even though it was unsuccessful, it did use Brave Blade in the last attack. But there's the switch. Are we going to see an air balloon? No, we're just going to see an attachment and an inter, uh, and a brave blade. Okay. And they just scoop! And they just scoop! Let's hear it for the monkeys. Let's hear it for the monkeys. And I don't mean the music group either. And the mystery gift is... One tournament ticket. One tournament ticket. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to that uh, to that second Suicune. And then in the third tier, we've got a full-out Peonia, which I'm not too fussed about, I'll be honest. It'll be all the other booster packs that, are, that I'll want more than anything. But uh, yeah, we got two Suicune. Now, the, I will admit, there's actually a deck I really, really want to play revolving around all three legendary dogs. And it'll just be like a Johto showcase, to be truthful. To be truthful. Okay, so dark and water. This could be a this could be a rapid strike deck. This could be a rapid strike deck, maybe, maybe. But we're gonna have to just see. Okay, so we're starting off with an A palm. That's not too bad, I guess. And a Bidoof, So if we can draw into the into a way of getting Bebowl, we'll be uh, we'll be very happy here. So what are we looking at? Leafy on ah ah really. Of course. Brick ball away, level ball, gets it older than... Wait, why would you not just play the level ball? Why would you not just play the level ball? Very confused. They're just going to greening sell, yeah. Okay, a little unfortunate there. Okay, we need to We need to play level ball. We need to grab a hold of another A palm. We can attach air balloon to the Badoof. I said attach air balloon to the Badoof. There we go. There we go. And bustle. For heads. Hey, we're invincible. Oh, even without a Glimwood Tangle, A palm comes through. Hallelujah. Okay, so there's the Drizzle. Dr Drizzle could get boss's orders here. Boss's orders would not be fun. Like, legitimately, boss's orders is not going to be fun here if that is the uh, course of action they decide to go for. But what are they going to do? 
evolu evolution incense to get the V Max or the V Star. Quick ball to set up more stuff on the bench. Level ball. Boss's orders. Professor's research. Marnie. Marnie would not be a horrible card to see here for my opponent. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, then they're, they're taking their sweet time to choose. Gallamine. Okay. Unfortunate, but expected. You know, it is unfortunate, but it is expected. If this is truly a VMAX deck, then it is within the realm of possibility. But they have to greening cells to the leafy on VMAX. Okay. Manaphy is kind of useless here. I'll be honest, I'm kind of content to sit behind Bustle, potentially, and then use Bruno for its fullest effect. So let's try Bustle again, Tails. Yeah, I kind of guessed that was going to happen. My luck is not that good. Okay, so we're going to go down a prize, but... And this is a big but. Okay, what we can do is bring the Ambipom out, and then we can uh, use Bruno for the full 7 card effect. Which will hopefully give us a counter stadium, hopefully give us a couple of energy, and hopefully give us up a battle, so we can also draw more cards after that. Okay, so there's 180. That's not fun. That's not fun. Okay, but here we go. There's Ambipom. Come on, give me something good. Okay, uh, Ordinary Rod. Okay, we're going to have to play the Ordinary Rod right now. It gets us back both a palm and one Grass Energy. It's not the maximum effect. It's two out of the four cards we could have potentially got back. But we need as many resources as possible back into the deck at the moment. Ambipom, Air Balloon, Glimwood. Glimwood's good to see. Uh, put down another Bidoof, put the Twin Energy onto the Ambipom, play the Pokeball, poopy poopy. That's not what we wanted to see. Okay, full tilt flank. One heads, one tails. Eh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay then. So. We're now in Dire Straits. We need a way of getting B-Bowl. Okay, we do. Uh, Pokeball really was the only way of getting B-Bowl for us at the moment. Now, why am I playing Pokeball? A, because it's a fun deck, and B, you know, if we're playing a coin flip deck, we might as well just go all in on coin flips, you know? Would Ultra Ball have been better in that scenario? Oh, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Maybe even Evolution Incense. But, uh, you know, that's not the game I'm playing here. Okay, so there's their Ultra Ball. That's going to get them the V-Star, I want to say? It could also get them the Drizzile. No, we get some Crobat V. Okay, so they're going to keep digging for more cards. Please. Okay, there's the boss. Bringing out a Bidoof. Okay, and then they play for five cards. Attach a water energy. Tool jammer. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Tool scrapper to get rid of the Bidoof's, both Bidoof's air, air balloon. So now I have no free pivots. What a dick. Well, I'm going to call it exactly how I see it. What a dick. I'm allowed to call him that. Okay, so there's another A palm. Full tilt fling. One tails, one heads. Eh, keep it. Okay, we need to be extremely lucky here. Okay, so we need to not get knocked out by Max Leaf. Ah, oh, fuck. We need to get not, not knocked out by Max Leaf. We need to, we need to, yeah, we need to survive, we need to survive this turn. Okay, and from our top deck, we need something that'll either get us B-Barrel or, oh, yes, excellent. So, okay, we need something that'll get us B-Barrel or a draw support, double turbo doesn't help us out here. So I'm going to just attach the double turbo to the Ambipom and full tilt fling. No, yes, no, no. Okay, 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 just a little bit of bad luck. Can't can't complain, can't complain, I want to complain, and if our top deck is not a draw support, I'm just going to scoop this game, because I know my luck. My luck is going to be four tails in a row. I hate it! Fuck! I hate it! I hate this. That's four tails in a row. Why am I so cursed?
Okay, play the Pokeball. Tails, fuck me. That's five tails in a row. Why? Six tails in a row? Why? There should be no way in fuck I should be flipping six tails in a row. At all. I've just lost. I've actually now just lost, haven't I? Because of all those goddamn tail flips. If I lose this ambipom, I know I've lost. Okay, if I if I lose this ambipalm, I've lost. I just have genuinely, genuinely lost because, you know, my luck is nowhere near good enough to keep up in this case. But finally, a goddamn head. It's about damn time, honestly. We're gonna have to lose the cherum. We're gonna have to lose the cherum. Boss, double turbo. Okay, so we can go... Oh, okay, but yeah, I forgot tool jammer is in play. I'm upset... I am. I'll admit, I'm a little upset that the uh, that the microphone is on because I want to say some very, very disgusting stuff. I do. I want to say some rather disgusting things because I want to curse how bad my luck has actually been. I do. I had six tails in a row. If and the and the absolute the absolute least that this game can give me is six heads in a row. Well, there's two. I'm genuinely tempted just to keep wailing on this leafy on. One, two, yes. Okay, so two heads, three heads. Three heads is great. If we can get another three-headed god... If we can get another three-headed gosh darn... Uh, if we can get some more heads, okay? After the absolute crud show that this game has just given me, if we can get more heads... I would be very grateful. And I'm just about to lose my uh, my A palm, so we need Ambi Palm to survive here. We do. We need a we need A palm to survive, please. Okay, okay. So Ambi Palms does survive. That's fantastic. Okay. We need to bring out this Inteleon and we need to try and take it out right now before we end up losing our A-Palm. So just keep loading up Ambipalm with a bunch of energy. We need three heads. There we go. At least we get to take a prize card. Okay, so there's our counter stadium, but it's going to come turn too late, isn't it? It's going to come a turn too late. Okay, so there's another VMAX. They need a grass energy. They do. They need a grass energy to be able to use grass not. Otherwise, they've just looked... They, okay, 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 okay. We, uh, we seem to be okay for the time being. Uh, we need to start setting up the other Amber Palm at this point. So, full tilt fling. Uh, or do we... Do we now nah, let's just full tilt fling and let's let's uh, let's hope we get uh, some heads. One heads, yep. Yeah, two heads, yep. Yeah, three heads, yep. Yeah. Okay, so a, 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 an even split. Can't complain with that one. An even split. Do they find a grass energy here? They've got a quick ball that doesn't find them much because they can't get a drizzle with a quick ball. Remember, it's only basics they can get. So another leafy on. Yeah, okay, so another leafy on. Nothing. Are you... Okay. Uh, put the twin energy down on the other uh, ambi palm. Okay, here we go. Full tilt fling. What do we need? What do we need? We need two heads. So out of six... Out of six coin flips, we need two heads. Here we go. Nope. Yes. Yes. Okay, we've got the knockout. We've got the knockout. Cool. So here we go. Three prize cards. Pal pad, great. Level ball, fantastic. Professor's research, brilliant. Okay. This is going to come down to it. This is genuinely going to come down to it. Okay, so there's the Drizzile. So what are they going to grab with this Drizzile? 
uh, level ball for another one? Yeah, they could, it could generally go into another one. They could rare candy into a Intellion. They could, oh god, what else could they do? Oh, fan of waves. I didn't see that coming. So the question is, uh, it should be on the bench one, right? No, oh, it's on the active. Okay. Max Leaf, Tails. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that heals them up a little bit. So how many heads are we going to need? Still two. Still two. But we need to try and maximize how much we can get here. Come on, energy. Okay. So, there's, so that's one energy. I don't want to be using double turbo. Okay, we are not going to be hitting what we need. So I'm going to... So we're going to level ball first for an A-Palm. Okay, we've already replaced the stadium. We are going to pal pad back in the boss's order and only the boss's order. Play, play energy retrieval for one energy. Stick it onto the ambipalm palm and then Professor's Research. We need to dig. We need to dig and dig hard. Uh, stick down another A palm. Okay. Uh, both. Oh, sh I shouldn't have done that because both ch chairman are in the discard. Okay. So here we go. Two heads wins us the game. Otherwise, we're going to have to keep relying on coin flips here. And I don't trust my luck at all. So come on. We've got Linwood. We've got four f coin flips. 50 50 chance here. One. Yes. No. Yes, we win! We win! Ambipalm taken out, Leafy on VMAX. Yes! I have to check, though. I have to check, though. Oh, the other one was prize. Okay, I have to check, though. I have to check. Okay, I do honestly have to check. Did they play a V-Star? Yes, they did. They played one V-Star. And then a Suicoon. Oh, for the fire matchup. Okay, that makes sense. That would explain that one water energy. Sorry, two water energy. Huh, neat. Okay, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, that was actually pretty good. That was really good, actually. That was really good. <sighs> so, yeah, we got two victories with Ambipalm. How amazing is that? However, uh, let's change things up a little bit for the stream, shall we? We're going to move into the expanded format, and we're going to play uh, the Legendary Titan Dra uh, Dragon? The Legendary Titan Dragon deck. So we're going to just quickly switch up. And of course the music we're going to be listening to is Sword and Shield's Legendary Titan Battle Theme. Okay, so let's... So, fingers crossed, we can do this. Remember, our deck is all about getting the six Regis into play any way we can, attaching dragon... Sorry, double dragon energy to a big bad dragon Pokemon, and then hitting as hard as we can. Hopefully without burning through too many resources at the start. Oof. Okay, we start, we, we start with double... But double battle compressor though double battle compressor is not horrendous to see it's not great it's not horrendous dragapult hmm okay okay well uh, okay let's count up how many regions we've got one two three Four, five, six. Okay, so Hisuian Heavy Ball becomes a dead card, effectively. We have a Double Dragon Energy prized. Uh, okay, and we're going to also get rid of Professor's Research. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play the other Battle Compressor. We're going to put Reggie Gigas into the discard, which now I know sounds a little silly. In fact, no, it is incredibly silly. Is Didene in the deck? Tapu Lele's in there, Crobat's in there. No, it isn't. Okay, that may okay. So now it's gonna make this player make a little bit more sense. We're going to put Reggie Gigas onto the bench. We are going to get rid of two Hisurian. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of two Hisurian heavy ball. As I said, it's a dead card. 
We're also going to put the Flygon into play. We're also going to stick the, the Double Dragon Energy on to give a team the Guard Chomp. And we're going to pass the turn. We're going to pass the turn. In the next turn, we're going to play Rescue Stretch to get Rigid Gigas onto the bench. We're going to VS Seeker for... We're going to VS Seeker for Professor's Research. And we are going to... Uh, yeah, we... Professor's Research. And then hopefully dig for something amazing. So, Crescent Glow. They're going to set up the Dragapult V. Probably... Oh, no, they're going to set up the Mu V? The Mu V? Okay. Uh, Dialga GX. I don't think that's going to come into play at all this match. So we're going to put a Pokemon from our discard into our hand. Of course, being the Reggie Gigas. Play the VS Seeker. For Professor's Research. Okay, we're still looking for quite a few bits and pieces here. Okay. Uh, no, that doesn't... Okay, like we need to... Train as male. Quick Ball. Quick Ball does indeed get us... A so one, two, three, four Reggies. Nope, that's not, uh, five Reggies. That's not enough. Damn it. Okay, we can get rid of a few more dead cards here. Uh, let's see, dead cards. Dead, 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 dead. Heavy ball. Honestly, I think that's about it. Just the heavy ball, because uh, that's our last compressor. Yeah, no, just just give it to the last heavy ball. The rest, the rest of the uh, the rest of what we got in here is pretty much needed. Maybe Lusamine. Yeah, give it a Lusamine as well. There we go. Okay, we're gonna attach the capture energy, or are we? What does this do? Thirty times each each attack, uh, both. So one, so three, six, nine, hundred and eighty. Okay, we 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 are going to be playing with fire, but. It may be worth it in the end. Maybe worth it in the end. We're going to stick Reservoir down. Okay, and then we're just going to Calamitous Slash. Yeah, I think Calamitous Slash here would be a... Or do we set up the Mew to be knocked out? No, no, just Calamitous Slash. Let's take a, let's take a prize. Let's take a prize. But that may have been the wrong option, but, you know... Okay, so there's our last Battle Compressor. Not exactly needed right now, so that makes it perfect quick ball bait. Okay, so down comes a dark energy onto the Noivern. Okay, X ball, 180. Okay, here we go. Play the Sky Field. Reg Ice, Registeel down. Quick ball away, Battle Compressor. Robat, Reggie, Reggie. Ooh. And then I have to... Oh, no, it's a V-Max if I... Okay. No, uh, I am just going to get a hold of... Oh, I could grab a hold of Garchomp. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to grab a hold of Regiality. Let's just focus on our... Let's just focus on our game plan. Okay, let's just focus on our game plan. Actually, which one would... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So, Cold Res here would actually be better, because then we can also keep the VS Seeker in the deck. Okay, come on. Come on, Cold Res. Uh, Rescue Stretcher, Reggie Drago, Ultra Ball. Okay, we can, uh, we can do something very, very sneaky here. <laughs> Okay, so down comes the Reggie Drago. Uh, we are going to play the... In fact, let's play the Trainer's Mail first. Scoop up net. No, that's not going to help us. Okay. Let's Ultra Ball away the Floatstone and the Scoop up net. I know that gets rid of both of our free retreat options, and you may call me silly, but we're going to grab a hold of Garchomp. What the team can't do together... Garchomp can do alone as we Ancient Wisdom. One, two, three. On to Garchomp. And then we Sonic Strike the active Mew for 220 damage. Get rid of one, two, three energy. Just in case they are going to try uh, try something sneaky. And then two prizes for us. There's the Dedene. And there's Guzmahala. Guzmahala doesn't exactly help us out here. 
I don't think. Now, if they have a counter stadium at all, uh, what does this do? Synchro, a number of cards, 180. That's fine. Boom Busters, 20 to everything. Okay. Now, the question is, how? oh, there's Lysander. Oh, they're going to take out the Kivatina Garchomp. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Well, yeah, well, kind of, yes, they are. Oh, no. Oh, no, they've just set themselves up for the loss. They've just set themselves up for the loss. Let's hit them with the well played, because here's what's going to happen now. We Ancient Wisdom, three Dragon Energy, which is six Rainbow Energy for, you know, dragons. And then we're going to hit them with the GG End Plus to discard two Pokemon from play that my opponent controls. They only have the two. They have no more Pokemon in play. We just win. <laughs> oh. oh, I feel bad. I well, kind of feel bad. Partially feel bad. So let's go for another run with uh, the, the expanded Reggie Gigas deck we've got here. Because goddamn, that's fun. And then we're actually going to build a proper, proper, proper ex expanded Reggie deck. We're going to build a proper expanded Reggie deck. And we've got ourselves our 69... Uh, sorry, 69... <laughs> 690 points to get ourselves... That other Suicune. The other thing we, I suppose, we could also look into is building the, uh, is building that, uh, is building that uh, legendary dog deck. I'm, I was, uh, I was planning on doing, utilizing Flaffy as the, uh, as the engine with uh, some, yeah, utilizing Flaffy uh, with. Uh, with Entei, Suicun, and Raikou. But yeah, but for now, let's just do one more expanded Regigigas deck. Uh, play. One more expanded play. And then we can see how many of each of the legendary dogs we have and see if we can build that deck. Okay, call the coin toss. Tails. Uh oh. We want my opponent to go first. We want my opponent to go first. My opponent decides to make me go first. This... Okay. Okay, we can work with this. We can work with this. We can work with this. Slightly. We can work with this slightly. Okay, how are we going to work? Okay. Okay. Shadow Rider Calyrex. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be interesting to say the least. We're going to get rid of Skyfield and we're going to get rid of Professor's Research here. We're going to grab a hold of Regigigas. Okay. And then we're going to play Crobat for four cards. Okay, let's dump the Colres. Grabbing a hold of another Reggie. Uh, hang on, how many have we got? There's two on the field, so that's two, three, four, five. We need to find Historian Heavy Ball for Reggie Eliki. But okay then. Let's grab a hold of our Crimson Invasion pre release Registeel. And that's going to be that. I'll keep the hand just in case they decide to take something out of commission. I hope they don't, but they could. Otherwise, in the next turn, we just play Skyfield, play down the Garchomp, and dig, 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 dig for uh, Viserion Heavy Ball and the rest of the Regis, as well as some Dragon Energy, so we can start swinging with Giratina Garchomp. We also need to find a Battle Compressor. We need to find a Battle Compressor. I mean, there's plenty of them in the deck, but uh, you know my luck at the moment. <laughs> Not fun. I mean, they... the thing is... Uh, Shadow misting me here is not going to be fun because we can't play. What? Wait a minute. Oh no. Special energy or stadiums. Oh shit. I should have just played the Skyfield. I have to wait for them. I now have to wait for them to evolve the uh, Shadow Rider. Hopefully this. Will be, hopefully this is it. This could also be Crobat or Dedenne. They have, why did they not just play the Professor's Research? 
Okay, there's the there's there's the uh, V Max. There's the V Max. Okay, so we're not going to get Shadow Misted again, which means we'll be able to play Skyfield, which means that we'll be able to uh, continue playing our game. Holy hell, I am so grateful. So there's Training Court. Training Court doesn't help us. It'll help him. Uh, does he? No, 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 he doesn't have a manual attachment. The second one is his manual attachment. But he can at least attack in the next turn. Oh! Marnie? Who the fuck is playing Marnie in Expanded? Okay, well, there's Battle Compressor. I'll be honest, this is uh, this is not a good hand, unless this trainer mail gives us a really decent draw, draw uh, or a VS Seeker. Yeah, if this trainer if this trainer mail can give us a good draw support or a VS Seeker, then uh, you know we'll be okay. Otherwise, we're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Come on, give me something good. Scoop up net does not help. Okay, trainer's mail. Heavy ball, ultra ball. Play the battle compressor. How many how many do we have? Still got all three in the deck. Okay. I don't know what to do. Three dragon energy is Tapu. Okay, Tapu Lele's in the deck. Okay, so we're gonna have to sacrifice. A, we're gonna have to sacrifice here. Get rid of the Veggie Drago. Get rid of the Guzmahala. Grab a hold of the Veggie. Uh, sorry, Tapu Lele. We need the Tapu Lele, and we need to dig hard. I can't believe they played Marnie. I'm so angry at the moment. I am really, really quite angry at the moment. Because we just lost. That Marnie fucked us over so hard. That's not fun. That's not fair. I can't believe we lost to a standard play in Expanded. That makes me so annoyed. Okay, let's try this again. And let's try getting some more points, shall we? Wow, this guy's been playing for a long time, given the uh, Chikorita. Do we want to go first? No, no, we don't. Yeah, given the Radiant Chikorita. Oh, for fuck's sake, what is that? The only saving grace we have is that we, we can VS Seeker with Battle Compressor. Plus, we've also got History and Heavy Ball, so we can scout our prizes as well. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to grab a Reggie out of it. But yeah, those those particular card sleeves are not cheap. So either he, so either my opponent had the money to burn, or got them when they were first released. Shaman Prism Star, Verizian, wow, Verizian EX, you know, scoop up baitable, yeah, scoop up netable, bloody, you know, protection against special conditions, which shuts down certain expanded decks. Uh, you you would need Path to the Peak to uh, shut that stuff down. Uh, netball. Okay, so now we probably get to see exactly what it is my opponent's going to be playing here. Rowlet? Decidui. Are we really going to see a Decidui? Apparently we are. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, Registeel can come to the bench straight away. Hisuian Heavy Ball. Crobe. And two Dragon Energy Apprise. Okay, let's grab a hold of the Crobat. Skyfield. At least we know... Here's the thing. At least, at least we know that there are no Reggies prized. Okay, so every one of them is going to be in the deck. Let's Floatstone, Tapu Lele. Let's Battle Compressor. Putting... Honestly, the perfect cards here are already in the deck. 
Professor's research and both double dragon energy go to the discard. Crobat for four cards. Okay, stick down the Veggie Drago. Uh, ouch. Uh, quick ball away, Lusamine. Is there anyone here that's going to be kind of useless? Because we'll be able to ultra ball those guys away, get them out of... Yeah, thin the deck, get them out of the way. Okay, I... Oh, no, Shred actually is pretty decent in this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say Flygon. Flygon here is going to be kind of useless. In fact, no, Flygon is going to be useless here. So get rid of those two. Grab a hold of Reggie... Yeah, grab a hold of Reggie Gigas at this point. Okay, and now we can VSC for Professor's Research, and we can... We can absolutely go ballistic at this point. Draw seven cards. Okay, so there's Regice. Uh, we can Quick Ball away the other Heavy Ball for... How many Regis do I need? Two. Uh, okay, so let's grab a hold of Reggie Eloki. Trainer's Mail? For... Okay, let's grab a hold of a VSC for the next turn. Uh, do we need to get rid of anything with Breathal Compressor? No, no, because I want to keep the capture energy in the deck. Okay, you know what? That's going to be the end of the turn. That's going to be the end of the turn right there. Okay, so they're having to manually do this. And they're also going to set up the Verizian EX. I don't agree with that. But okay, whatever. They're putting the Dartrix in harm's way. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, so there's Giratina Garchomp. Uh, how many Regis are on there? One, five. Okay, so we just need to find the last Reggie. Okay, if we can find the last Reggie here, we just win. So here we go. Professor's Research. Yeah, we've just won. Uh, get rid of... Get rid of Goz... No, nah, get rid of Dedene. Yeah, get rid of Dedene and get rid of Battle Compressor. Grab a hold of Regirock. Our uh, Crimson Invasion pre-release Regirock, no doubt. Oh, no less, I should say. Now, yes, we're not going to be doing the full amount of damage here. Because two of our dra Double Dragon Energy were prized, unfortunately. But we are at least going to be taking a prize. Okay, and, and if, by some miracle, we get the 1 in 6 chance of, and get a double dragon energy, we win. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you genuinely kidding me here? Are you actually genuinely kidding me? We got the 1 in 6. Oh, sorry, the 2 in 6. Okay, 1 in 3. We got the 1 in 3. But, you know, after my coin flip luck with that ambipalm deck, can you genuinely, believe, can you genuinely blame me for being apprehensive? Also, nice copycat. Very nice copycat. There's the Emerald Slash. It won't matter. All we're going to do is attach the Double Dragon Energy to, to Giratina Garchomp and just take them both out. Uh, yeah. Attach. Well played. GG End Plus. And it is, in fact, a GG End Plus. That makes the last game that we had with the Expanded Reggie deck all the more infuriating. <laughs> All the more infuriating, honestly. And we're about halfway towards that uh, that goal. Okay, then. So, we've done a couple of expanded Reggie matches. We've done a couple of Ambipalm matches. I'm going to run a 30-second advertisement very quickly. And when we come back, we're going to build a proper expanded Reggie deck. So, I hope to stick around for that one. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you after the break.
Oh, God damn it, it's too warm. Okay then. We should be back from commercial. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay then, let me just... Okay, let's stick on the con... Excuse me. Let's stick up the contest hall music. Okay, and here we go. We're going to build ourselves a real expanded Reggie deck. As you can see, I've already got Reggie. I've already got, like, Reggie's on the brain. Now. Like last time, Reg this particular Reggie Gigas is from Astral Radiance. I think it's Astral Radiance. This is the one that we are going to be focusing upon with Ancient Wisdom. So that is the only Reggie Gigas we're going to be playing. Okay, that's the only baby Reggie Gigas we're going to be playing. I would love nothing more than to try and make this other Reggie Gigas work. Genuinely would love to try and make this particular Reggie Gigas work. You know, with Reggie Blast, 180, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. It's just going to be absolutely hilarious to stick in there. And I will admit that a part of me, a really disgusting part of me, wants to either put that one in or this X and Y promo Reggie Gigas from way back in the day. But, uh, yeah, the ability depends on it. Uh, the ability depends on it working with... Uh, you know, attaching from the hand. That's not what we want to do. So, honestly, if anything, this particular Veggie Gigas would be the one that I would want to play just as a, you know, ha 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 lol sort of thing. But we also have to think about other Reggies we want to play because I also want to stick in really old school Reggie Gigas cards. You know, we want to, I want to play at least one Reggie Gigas EX and I want to play at least one Registeel EX. You know, go super old school with this thing. Because even in today's format, Triple Laser is a really good attack. 30 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, you can't complain about that sort of damage. I mean, Protect Charge is not spectacular. Let's be completely honest here. So we'd only be using Registeel for, you know, it's, it's Triple Laser. But it's still really cool. So. So the question now becomes, what... Reggie's do we are we going to play to support okay and the thing is we can mix and match a variety we can we can really mix and match our variety of Reggie's here uh, but without a shadow of a doubt we are playing two of the Celestial Storm Regis for Icy Barrier as long as this Pokemon is the active your opponent cannot play stadiums and yes, the attack is kind of weak at 60 for 3 energy, but it does put your opponent's Pokemon to sleep, and let's be honest, you know, if, and only if we get very lucky, our opponent could stay asleep for their turn, which would be fantastic. So I'm more than willing to uh, go for the 10 less HP, but the more, you know, productive, I suppose, would be the way to put it, Regice. Uh, between these two Reggie Drago, I kind of like having the more... The more power-based Reggie Drago, the Dragon's Energy one from Evolving Skies. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, when it comes to Reggie Eliki, the one from Evolving Skies is the one I want to go for because 120 to the active, 40 to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That, I mean, let's be honest, that really does not. It's nothing to laugh at. Now, when it comes to Regirock. There's actually a couple of really good Regirock that we can pick from here. Uh, yes, we have the one, uh, the most modern Regirock, which has got Giga Impact 140. But we've also got this particular Regirock from Crimson Invasion that's, uh, that does 110 with, with its attack not being affected by resistance. And uh, if we attack with Registeel, we're able to do an additional 10 damage. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stick one Crimson Invasion Regirock in there. And we're also going to stick one Astral Radiance in there. Now, when it comes to Registeel, I'm thinking doing the exact same thing. Because this one from Celestial Storm uh, has some natural built-in bulk. 
with Exoskeleton, allowing it to take 20 less damage from attacks, and Silver Fist can come in clutch. 120 to something with an ability takes out the Barrel or Nguru. Uh It can do a significant chunk of damage to a few other bits and pieces. So I'm genuinely tempted to stick in one of the Celestial Storm Registeel, as well as our Crimson Invasion Registeel. Uh, 3 for 90 and can heal itself. Or, uh, oh, a basic energy card, never mind. It, it, can, it can still slap. It can still slap. So, yeah. So, yeah, we've got all six of our Regis, but here we go. We're, now we're going to stick in, you know, a couple of extra Pokemon. We're going to stick in the Regigigas EX, and we're also going to stick in the Registeel EX, because we're able to scoop up net those. Every single Pokemon in this deck, we can scoop up net. For now. Every single Pokemon we can scoop up net. For now. I am genuinely tempted to try and make Regi this Regigigas work. Genuinely tempted. But I'm not going to. Nah, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Okay, then we're going to stick in one Crobat and one Dedenne. Crobat. And one Dedenne GX. And we're actually going to go for... We're going to go for the, you know, 3D modeled one. Okay, so there we go. That's our Pokemon lineup. One Regigigas EX, one Registeel EX, two Regice, two Registeel, two Regigigas, two Regirock, two Regieliki, and four Regigigas. You know, we need to be... A, actually, that might be a little overkill. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, this Regigigas is strictly for attacking. So, what's it, what are we going to look at when it comes to our energy count? We're going to go for four Aurora. We're going to go for four Rainbow Energy. Actually, which one looks better? It's supposed to... Yeah, the sun, sun and sun and moon base set, and we're just going to go for two double colorless energy. There we go, both of them from evolution. There we go, ten energy. Actually, no, you actually no, you know what? We can take out one Aurora, and we can stick in a. In fact, no, we can actually just run nine energy here. Yeah, we can just run nine energy. Four rainbow, two double colorless. Three Aurora, that should be more than enough, especially when combined with Battle Compressor. Yeah, especially when combined with Battle Compressor. And talking of, let's get that underway, shall we? So, first of all, Battle Compressor. We want four of them, because we want everything in the discard as fast as possible. I'm genuinely tempted to also run ba uh, Battle VIP Pass, but we'll see what we have after this. We definitely need four VS Seeker. Without a shadow of a doubt, we need four VS Seeker. That gives us 25 cards to goof about with. We are at least, and I do mean at least, playing two scoop up net. I did put a dent. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, at least two scoop up net. Uh, we, we may be putting more in at a later date. We definitely need Professor's Research. One Professor Juniper, two Professor Juniper. I definitely want to put in Col Res because... Because we are going to be filling up our bench. Not the machine, just the, just the scientist. And Skyfield. We definitely need Skyfield. Uh, I've only got the three of them, unfortunately, and we need a Lusamine in order to get them back. There we go. Okay, we now have about 15 cards, okay? We've got about 15 cards we can goof about with. We're definitely going to need a couple of Hisuian Heavy Ball, and we're also going to run a couple of Standard Heavy Ball. The Jatorian Heavy Ball, as I'm going to call it. Search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more. The only Pokemon that don't fall underneath that category are Crobat, Dedenne, and Regieliki. Other than that, everybody else can be searched out with, that, with those two Heavy Ball cards. And we might as well stick in some Quick Ball too. One, two, three, and four. We need some Pokemon Recovery. 
So, what would be the best recovery uh, rescue stretcher? We need at least two rescue stretcher. To fit in with, and then to fit in with the whole. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, though, that doesn't help us out a whole lot. I want to run one, but uh, our space is going to be very tight. We need float stone as well. We're going to want two float stone. That gives us four cards. Okay, that gives us four cards here. Hmm. Honestly, I am looking forward to playing this. I'm also petrified of what the result is actually going to be. Because this could be great. This could be terrible. Honestly, the biggest X factor is this Regigigas with Regiblast. It's genuinely the biggest X factor we've got in the deck. Because it could be amazing or it could be utterly garbage. We've got four cards. I'm genuinely tempted to stick in at least one more heavy ball. Yeah, I'm tempted to put in one more heavy ball. Maybe ultra ball? What, one more heavy ball, two ultra ball? Maybe. No, no, we've already got Skyfield. Honestly, I could run one Ancient Crystal. Or a Muscle Band. I could run a Muscle Band. We've got two Float Stone. Hmm. If, it, if there's anybody in chat that can give me a hand with this, that would be fantastic. I've got four cards to go. Okay, I know that this Regigigas is like the biggest X Factor, that, and if I was going to redo this deck, that's the first card that goes. It's the first card that goes. But, uh, yeah, we've got three Skyfield, so we can just like fill up our bench with full of Regis. We've got a couple of DCE. We've got Aurora Energy and Rainbow Energy, so, you know, we can just Battle Compressor twice and get more than enough energy out of the deck to, you know, to actually start attacking stuff. We've got a couple of Floatstone for free retreat. I'm genuinely tempted. Uh, I am genuinely, t I'm genuinely tempted, genuinely, genuinely tempted to stick an Ancient Crystal in there because, you know, it is... Because, yes, it only goes to Regigigas, Regirock, Regice, and Registeel because it was printed before the Regidrago, Regieleki came out. But, yeah, Muscle Band would be the more consistent... Uh... No, third, uh, third Scoop Up Net. Yeah, we're going to go for a third Scoop Up Net. Uh, we're going to go for... That gives us three cards. One more heavy ball. Okay, we need to find a different heavy ball to stick in there. I don't know. Maybe a third professor's research. Yeah, maybe a third professor's research. And then gives us one more card. Fuck it, go for the Ancient Crystal. There we go. Okay, so this is our proper expanded Reggie deck. Okay, yes we have Crobat, yes we have Dedeno, but we've also got Skyfield, so we can really take advantage of this. Okay, the main aim of the deck is to just fill up the bench full of at least one type of Reggie and then a couple of other, of, a couple of other Pokemon. Uh, in fact, good question. What A-spec cards do I have? Because if we have a, uh, uh, look at the A spec, we go, apply. We've got Scramble Switch, Rock Guard, Life Do, Gold Potion. Doesn't help us out a whole lot. If we had, like, Scoop Up Cyclone, uh, then I would be, I'd absolutely put that in. You know, I'd absolutely put in the Scoop Up Cyclone if we had it. I just don't trust my luck with, because uh, then we could get rid of the Crobat or the Zene. You know, and then save the scoop up net for like the EXs and the standard Regis and everything. So yeah, but yeah, okay. So, but this is this is our expanded Regi deck. Okay, we've got four Regi Gigas. I know that's overkill, but you know we've got three of the Ancient Wisdom Regi Gigas, which is the, you know the the keystone. It's the keystone that keeps this deck going, as well as 
uh, this promo Sun and Moon Reggie Gigas with Reggie Blast because, you know, I just think it's going to be funny and, you know, if we need to, like, tighten up the bolts on this deck at all, it's the first card that goes, okay? I'm not an idiot. Uh, we've got one Reggie Gigas EX because, honestly, this was, like, one of the biggest, baddest black and white error cards, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. So, uh, yeah, of course we had to put it in and, you know, with Raging Hammer, it can actually do a fair bit of damage so long as you don't lose it. <gasps> That's it. That's it. We've just, uh, I just found my X Factor. Cape of Toughness. Reset the filter. Reset the filter. Reset the filter. Reset the filter. Uh, basic Pokemon attached to gets 50, but not GXs. Okay, that is fantastic. We have ourselves a bit of an X Factor. What we could genuinely, genuinely do at this point then is dump this Reggie Giga, stick in, uh, yeah, stick in, maybe get rid of the Ancient Crystal and then stick in two Cape of Toughness. Yeah, well, okay, we're definitely going to get rid of one. Well, I hate to get rid of the Ancient Crystal because it's, you know, thematic and everything, but yeah, absolutely. Just put in a Cape of Toughness and then if we need to tighten the bolts, get rid of this Reggie Giga, stick in another Cape of Toughness and away we go. Okay. So we've got two float stone for you know ancient wisdom, provided we don't have to attack a VMAX. Um, Cape of Toughness, which will attach to potentially, hopefully, Reggie Gigas EX. Uh, okay, uh, we've got a Crobat V for draw. We've got uh, two of the big powerhouse Reggie Dragos. We've got uh, this Regirock because you know I just own it, and also if we have to attack with Registeel, either Registeel. Uh, it'll do uh, just that touch more damage. And, you know, always pushing your damage is a good thing in this game. Uh, we've got a Dedene for draw support. We've got two Reggie Eleki, so we can snipe the bench if we need to. We've got uh, this Crim we've got the Celestial Storm Registeel for its inbuilt bulk, as well as, you know, the ability to just hit those ability Pokemon just an extra little bit. Because that could be the extra little bit that puts us above and beyond. We have got Reg this Crimson Invasion Registeel uh, with me in the background. Because uh, my friends, when this card was released, said, yeah, Steel, that's you in the background, right? With the hat and everything? Uh, <laughs> and also, it's just a fucking cool artwork. Uh, it can also... It, we don't run any basic energy, so, the, so Turbo Arm would only be doing, you know, chip damage at best. Iron Hand can p give it a little bit of longevity, which is great. Uh, and, then of and then we are running one Registeel EX, because Triple Laser is still pretty decent in this, in this day and age. But also because uh, Protect Charge can also give it a little bit of additional longevity, especially with Cape of Toughness. And then we've got Reg Ice. And then we've got Reg Ice. Uh, this is the mo more useful of all the Reg Ice because there aren't that many, to be quite honest. Uh, with Icy Barrier, so long as it's in the active, this is another prime Float Stone target. So long as this is in the active, your opponent cannot swap out the Stadium cards with any of theirs, which means that if Reg Ice is in the active and we have Sky Field. Skyfield stays. They can't get rid of it, but they can still they can still get rid of it for something like Pump Kaboo, Marsh Shadow, uh, Field Blower. So you know it's not perfect. It isn't perfect, but it is decent. We are running four Battle Compressors, so we can get rid of as much energy out of the deck as possible. Potentially even one of our three, uh, one of our few draw supports. Uh, we are running three Jatorian Heavy Ball to search out Reggie Gigas, Reggie Gigas EX, Reggie Drago, Reggie Rock. Uh, Registeel, EX, and uh, Reggie Re and Reg Ice. It, the only Pokemon it doesn't search is Reggie Eleki. Okay, that's the only uh, sorry, the only Reggie it doesn't search is Reggie Eleki. And then of course, did NAGX and Crobat V do not have, you know, three retreat cast. Otherwise, they just wouldn't see play at all. Uh, we've got two Hisuian Heavy Ball to help us get stuff out of the dis uh, out of the prizes if we need to grab it. We've got four Quick Ball, of course, because everything we're running in this deck is a basic. We've got two Rescue Stretcher for a uh, whole lot of recovery we've got scoop up net uh, to protect the EXs as well as any of the other sniped Reggies on the bench we've got four rescue stretcher because of course it is we have it this is expanded we've got three sky field with a lucamine support so technically we can kind of have five if not seven to nine to eleven with VS Seeker but I really don't want to be playing that many VS Seekers on lucamine let's be honest uh, we've got a cold res three professors research We've got one Cape of Toughness to stick on to hopefully Reggie Giga CX. We've got two Floatstone, three Aurora Energy, four Rainbow Energy because I haven't played with that in a while, and two Double Colorless Energies. That is our expanded Titan deck. Okay, let's also choose our coin. 
Where's my Mel Methyl? Oh, gray, 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 gray. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back. The reason I'm picking the Mel Metal coin is because there's no Reggie coin. Uh, we're going to pick the Crimson Invasion Death Box because of our special Reggie, Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel. And our card sleeves are going to be. I know, I know. I don't have I don't have bench protection, but uh, you know, sniping isn't too, isn't seen too often in uh, in expanded, as far as I know. We're going to go for the energy spectrum cards because we are playing a whole different type. I'm, I mean, there's another thing that we could do. Okay, I mean, if worst comes to the worst, we just wait. What do you? There we go. Expanded Titan. There we go. Oh, I thought I put a star on that one. Oh, I did. I did already. Okay, cool. Right then, let's go back to... So, here we go. We're going to try out our expanded Titan deck in expanded right now. So. Let's go back to the Reggie battle theme. And away we go. Okay, so would we want to go first or second with this deck? Second. We would, we would want to go second with this deck, honestly. And we're not going to get given that chance. That chance. Okay. And unfortunately, that is just a little unfortunate. Truthfully. Uh, we're better off sticking the Reggie Drago in the active at this point. Okay, hopefully we get something like a heavy ball off of the, off of the top deck. Okay, Gigas. Gigas is good to see. A Vulcanian deck. That's a little old school. Okay. Uh, let, okay, so we're going to just battle Compressor here. What have we got in the deck? Uh, we've got one Drago, one Alaki, one Gigas. Two. Okay, so we've got all four Gigas. We've got both EXs. We've got uh, one Steel, two two Ice, both Rock, and both Dra Drago and Alaki. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so we're going to get rid of two Rainbow Energy and a Professor's Research. So we can get ready for the next turn. We're going to attach Floatstone to the Reggie Gigas. And we are going to call it there. Okay, so we're going to be seeing Volcanian EX hit the bench. Oh shit, ne oh, Nest Ball wouldn't help. Nest Ball doesn't help me. So yeah, so there's Heat Factory. Welder. There's no way they're going to do... No, there's no way on Earth. It's only 20 that that EX does. There's Heat Factory. They could find a Muscle Belt. Yeah, they could find a Muscle Belt. Muscle Band. Muscle Band, sorry. They could find a Muscle Band. Okay, and they're going to start setting up the EX for the follow-up attack. Okie dokie. But it's 30, isn't it? Oh, shit. So if they had been able to set up the Steam Artillery, they would have been able to take out Richie Drago no problem at all. Holy Christ. Uh, and we are doing uh, 100, 100 less damage. Okay. So that's a little unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. But here's what here's what we can do here. We're going to bump the stadium. Uh, we're going to put the Cape of Toughness. Who do we put this on? And they scoop? What? What do you mean they scoop? Okay, um, I mean, why? I don't see why they had, why they scoop there. Yeah, just, Blacephalon, Jesus Christ. Now, there's a Pokemon I haven't seen for a long time, but that goddamn thing used to rule the format back in, uh, back in the Lost Thunder days. You know, with Welder support and, uh, Naganadal, oof, it was just, it was bad, it was, I would, well, Man, very old school. I haven't seen some of these cards in ages. And then 15 energy. Ugh. 
I mean, I can see why with Blacephalon, but uh, honestly, that might be a bit too much. Maybe go down to 13 or something and then put in a couple more consistency cards. But okay, so so I'm not going to... I want to say I take them. Okay, I want to say that that was a win because they the, they are the ones that scooped. We were just about to play Professor Research. We were just about to start getting stuff rolling. I kind of want to say that. And then, and you know what? I am going to say that. We, we, we have at least one win and I should have copied this deck and... I should have just copied this deck and then kept the win rate at 100%. But okay, my opponent gets to decide who, go, who goes first and second. So what are we looking at here? Uh, a Psychic deck. Potentially. Potentially Psychic. Okay, that's actually not a horrendous start. Uh, we're going to... We're going to start off with the Registeel. Okay, we're going to start off with the Registeel here. Okay, we definitely get to play Heavy Ball. We definitely get to play Scoop Up Net. Uh, and then we're going to... Potentially, we're going to... No, no, we don't. We don't get to play Scoop Up Net at all. Not until we know exactly what it is we're going to be fighting against. What time is it? 20 past 12. We can probably go for another... Marini? Is this a Toxapex GX deck? Oh, you miserable little... This cannot be a, a, a Toxapex GX deck. I refuse to believe that. Okay, we've got Aurora Energy. Uh, okay, so if we play the... Let's play the Heavy Ball and let's see what we've got in the deck. Uh, EX, EX... Okay, so we've got both EXs. We've got all four Gigas. We've got both Steel. Both Ice. One Rock. Uh, we've got both Drago and we've got uh, two Eleki. Okay, we're going to grab a hold of the Red Rock here. We're going to grab a hold of the Red Rock. We're going to... We are going to place the Aurora Energy down onto Registeel. We're going to get rid of one scoop up next. We're going to play the Crobat. Come on. Come on. Give me Battle Compressor. Are you kidding me? What the hell's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, I think we're just about to lose this. Unless they don't evolve. If they don't evolve, we're fine. If they do evolve, we are going to be in a... We're going to be in a lot of trouble. We are going to be in a lot of trouble here. The anticipation is killing me. Seriously, four cards and that is what we get? Why? Why is that it? Okay, so Team Flag won't get rid of... Okay. Okay, we can still make this work to our advantage. Okay, we just win. We just win. Let's hit them with a well played. That's a little unfortunate, but, you know, we didn't exactly have the most auspicious of start. Let's play the Hyserian Heavy Ball. We need to... Okay, good. Two, two Battle Compressor reprised. Okay, I'm kind of glad that we are just about to win this because we're going to scoop up net the Registeel, go into the Reggie Drago, attach the double colorless energy, put down the other rock, and then put down the steel again. And then we're going to hammer in. Kaboom. Again, not the most not the most glamorous of wins, let's be completely honest. It isn't. It's not the most glamorous of wins, like, at all. It really is not the most glamorous of wins, but you know what? We'll take it. Okay, and you know what? We're going to do one more. We're going to do one more with this expanded Titan deck. Come on. Come on. Give, give, let's be able... Let, fighting and fire. Okay, this may be a problem. Fighting fire may be a problem. Is this a colossal deck? Oh my god. This could actually be a colossal deck. But then again, I'm thinking way too... Uh, it could also be... Their, their stadium of choice could be a Scorched Earth card. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's stick the let's stick that Reggie Gigas up in the active. Let's stick the Reggie Eleki down onto the bench, and let's see what we get from our Mulligans, shall we? I had to take one. Yeah, Scorched Earth, Scorched Earth is definitely their stadium of choice for the draw support. Uh, Evolution Incense doesn't tell us anything. It could, as I said, it could genuinely be colossal. Uh, yes, we want to draw an additional card. Okay, so there's the other Reggie Gigas. Uh, Volcanian V Urshifu. Okay. So let's put down that Reggie Gigas right here. Let's grab uh, something with this heavy ball. Okay, we've only got one. We've only got one Eliki in the deck. One Rock in the deck. Okay. 
Uh, we got both steel, both ice. We got all four gigas. Okay. Let's play the battle compressor first. Okay, we we do need to uh, we need to put some draw support in the discard. So we need to get rid of Professor's research. We're going to get rid of two rainbow energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. One, two, three. Attach the DCA and pass. Okay, so there's an air balloon. So that reduces the retreat cost. You're in... Wait, you're in expanded. Why would you not play floatstone? Floatstone is better than air balloon objectively. Okay. Uh, so there's another Reggie Eleki. Um, we don't have a choice with this one. We have just got to Professor's Research. We need to find Skyfield. We need to find the other three Reggies as fast as possible. Uh, here's again. Heavy ball, heavy ball. Ouch. That is not what we needed to find there. Okay. So what we can do at least is... Uh, we don't have a Rock down. And we don't have a Steel down. But both of those have been... Okay. So here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. We can... Grab a hold of Registeel and stick it on the bench with the extra defense. Uh, we can play one Battle Compressor and get the last of the energy into, into the discard. Play the Hisuian Heavy Ball, getting our Cape of Toughness is prized. Along with the other Aurora energies, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I play multiple, multiple, um, sorry, multiple rainbow esque energies, huh? But yeah, Jesus, oh, we would, we genuinely were so very close. We were genuinely very close. Okay, so there's the manual attachment. There's scorched earth. They, they're gonna laser focus. Yeah, we could be in trouble here. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we are in some serious doo-doo. We need a VS Seeker. See what I do need. I need a Float Stone and I need a... Oh, no. There's just so much I need at this point. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to regret doing this. I'm going to hate doing this. Uh, with Battle Compressor, we're going to get rid of... Of Dedene. We're going to get rid of Hisuian Heavy Ball. We're going to get rid of. I want to say Luzamine. We're going to get rid of Luzamine as well. I, as I say, I'm going to hate doing this. We're going to play the Rescue Stretcher and we are going to put the Dedene back into our hand and we are going to just dump. We're going to dump the hand. We have to dump the hand here. Uh, do I want to discard? Yeah, I do. Well, there's Skyfield. Uh, okay, so we can play the sky field. We're going to put the floatstone down onto Reggie Gigas. We're going to play the quick ball. We're going to... How many VS Seeker is that? That's three. Fuck. Okay, we, we got no choice. We'll get rid of VS Seeker. Um, so what do we need? What do we need on the bench now? One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need rock and we need ice. So let's grab a hold of rock first. We can now grab a hold of Professor's Research again and dig even more. Okay, and there's ice. Perfect. Ancient Wisdom, Aurora, Double Rainbow, on to the active Regigigas. And then, hilariously enough, we can Reggie Blast. 180. Gets rid of an air balloon, so, you know, no free retreat for the Sershifu. It's going to take an absolute whipping in the next turn. But now we need to try and find the other rescue stretcher, because god damn it. And they might, now they might, Guzma. Yeah, they might Guzma. They might, um, what else is, they might Guzma, they might Boss, they might do something. Uh, quick ball, could, uh, I, I'd be surprised if they don't grab a Crobat or a Dedene here. 
or Tapu Lele. Flip. They've got to have a draw support in hand. That th that last card is draw support. Called it. Thankfully, we've also been able to draw our, our last Skyfield before our final VS Seeker. Okay, so there's beat down. Okay, that's fine. How much is left? 150. The only Pokemon that can take out that can take this out is Regigigas. This is why we're playing four. This is why we're playing four. So I'm going to quick ball away the professor's research. I am. I'm going to quick ball away the professor's research. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, it's still on my opponent to pick a prize card here. So yeah, we're going to go into the Reggie Gigas. Both. Hang on, we've got both DCE in the prize, right? Please tell me we do. We do. Okay, okay, okay. We'll be able to attack. We'll be able to attack. Look at he split. No problem at all. So yeah, we can quick ball for another Reggie Gigas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So here we go. Bring out the Regigigas. Here we go, we can just heavy ball for Regigigas. I would love to, I would love nothing more than to go into Regigigas EX here. I would love nothing more than to go into Regigigas EX. But the problem is, we would be absolutely destroyed. We would be absolutely destroyed. Okay, so here we go, we get to put down another Regigigas. We're going to Ancient Wisdom with one Regigigas. And put double, double, double colorless, double, double colorless, as well as a rainbow energy. And the hilarious thing is, we can still do an ancient wisdom. We can still do this. We can still do this. How, how amazing is that? We can ancient wisdom. Uh, I don't know, actually. What would be the most useful thing to attack with? Reggie. The thing is, we also have to be very careful about what we do attack with. I'm going to say Reg Ice. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to say Reg Ice would be the mo most useful. Yeah, we just go out into the Reg Ice. And now we just go Gigaton Break! 300 damage! Okay, Hisuian Heavy Ball, fantastic. Scoop of Net's great. Rescue Stretcher, ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so at least we'll be able to put in a couple. We'll be able to put the Reggie Eloki, Reggie Drago, Reggie. Reggie Rock back into the deck. Okay, so there's. The, okay, so there's double. Double Single Strike Energy. They don't have anything else set up. Flaming Breath. Okay, Flaming Breath. I'm going to deny them the prize card. I'm going to be a real dick. I'm actually going to be a real dick. I'm going to use up... Uh, I'm going to use up one... Yeah, I'm going to use up one scoop up net to bring out the Reggie Gigas. So yeah, to bring the Reggie Gigas back to hand. I'm then going to manually retreat this Reg Ice into Reggie Drago and take out this Flareon. Okay, so let's do that then. Oh my god, this is uh, this is amazingly cruel. Yeah, this is amazingly cruel. I love it. Okay, Ancient Wisdom number one. On to Reggie Drago with Dragon Energy. This is why I play the Dragon Energy one. So now the other question becomes... Do I set up the Reggie Gigas again? I'm thinking about setting up the Reggie Gigas again. Yeah, just sod it. Set up the Reggie Gigas again. Cool. And then just Dragon Energy. Take out the Flareon. Oh my god. This is actually working. Guys, why is this working? Why is this working? And there it is. There's the, there's the scoop. We win. That was a proper Reggie match. What the fuck? Seriously, why did, why did I win that? Why did I win that? I don't feel like I should have won that. Seriously, though, I'm playing... The reason I don't think I should have won was because... I'd say that, but this Reggie Gigas did the fucking work when it needed to. It did! It did the fucking work when it needed to, you know? It got the Reggie Blast off. It's set up for the next Reggie Gigas. It's like... I mean... I... I'm gonna have to play with this deck a bit more, but honestly... I'm liking it. You know, the sky field with the double ancient wisdom. <laughs> Honestly, that is disgusting. I love the fact that's not once per turn, but that is genuinely fucking filth. That's filth is what that is. It's filth.
It is. It's absolute filth. It's great. It's filth, is what it is. It is genuine filth. I love it. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this. The fact that we can also scoop up net the EXs with like 180, 180 HP is fantastic. I know we didn't get to use them at all, because, but then again, I just didn't want to use them because, you know, they're going to be weak to what my opponent was playing. But yeah, no, that's actually really cool. I'm going to have to keep playing with that at some point. Okay, but let's go back to bait. Let's go back to standard. And you want to know something? I want to switch off my brain. Okay, I want to switch off my brain. I want to rely on Lady Luck, and I want to. I want to kiss my girlfriend. I mean, yeah, I want to kiss my girlfriend hard on the lips because she deserves it. She's a wonderful, wonderful woman. But uh, no, I also want to kiss Lady Luck on the neck so that she gives me all of the luck in the world. Because we're going to go back to playing coin flips. Yeah, we're going to go back to playing coin flips. And the music choice. The music choice is going to be the Rainbow Rocket Grunt theme from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because, honestly, that kicks just so much ass. It does. It does kick so much ass. So, here we go. Back to the Ambipom. As I said, I just want to turn off my brain right now. I do. I just want to I want to turn off my brain. I want to just turn off my brain and I just want to uh, you know, rely on Lady Luck because it is getting way too warm here. It is genuinely getting way too warm here and we're going first. Never a good sign in my opinion. Yeah, it's already it's 28 degrees here. It is. It's 28 degrees. It sucks. It sucks and wow. Talking about stuff that sucks. Uh, I didn't see what my opponent was playing there. But yeah, talking about stuff that sucks. Uh, yeah, this hand. <laughs> if we can some if we can somehow get like a Cherim or... Sorry, Cherubi. Why do I keep getting those two confused? It sounds like it should be Cherim and then Cherubi, right? But... Uh, or at least Cherim should have just been a standalone Pokemon. Okay, so it is a Dark Ride deck. Okay, let's try Pokeball first. Tails. Yeah, why did I expect anything different? Dreamy Revelation. Level Ball. Okay, let's Level Ball instead then. Let's get, let's get ourselves... Let's genuinely get ourselves an A-Palm. Okay, let's stick the Double Turbo down. And that'll be it for the turn. Do I see Jirachi going here? It's hard to say. It's very genuinely hard to say. It's very difficult to say. I mean, I don't want Jirachi to go immediately, but uh, we may not have a choice. Okay, so double trekking shoes. So they're able to draw two cards. Uh, quick ball puts a dark energy in the discard. For another dark ride? No Greninja. They're allowed to put even more dark energy in the discard. Uh, is that going to be the turn? I mean, okay, at least Ra Radiant Greninja at least makes my opponent now Marnie-proof, effectively. So long as I keep drawing energy cards. But come on, it's a Dark Ride deck. Of course they are. Okay, Moltres V. Okay, so so that's uh, so that's another reason why. I thought they were going to go for a Dark Patch. There you go. That, I was going to say Dark Ride, Dark Patch. But uh, they don't bloody need to with Galarian Moltres. And a Crobat. And a Crobat. Do you think you've done enough, my friend? And then they hit me with Amani. I mean, yeah, I wanted to Amani them, but that was on my hecking turn. They've already manually attached to Dark Right, thankfully, so I, they can't put another energy on to... Wait, no, they, they can. If they find another Dark Patch, which, you know, is not outside of the realm of possibility, and a Switch or an Air Balloon, they're going to take out Jirachi, and then we're going to be in a whole world of trouble. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pokeball, come on. 
really don't need these. I really don't need these right now. Uh, we're going to level ball first for... We're going to go for a Bidoof. At least a Palm can protect itself with Bustle, potentially. Dreamy Revelation. Uh, grab a hold of... Grab a hold of Ambi Palm. So it, now at least Ambi Palm can try and defend itself. Okay. So we're going to see the Dark Rite evolve into Dark Rite V Star. We're going to see Golemian Moltres set itself up. We're going to just see my opponent be set up in an amazing way because they decided to Marnie me. Aren't we? We're going to see it. We're going to see it. I know we're going to see it. Choice Belt doesn't do anything for my opponent. Ultra Ball, there's the V-Star. I hate it when I'm correct. I really hate it when I'm correct, because... Uh... <sighs> oh no, grab a Crobat. Another Crobat. Okay, so... That might prove useful in the future. I can't believe we got Double Tails on that goddamn Pokeball, though. So, I'm genuinely, genuinely hoping... That uh, that's not going to be. I gen I hope I genuinely do hope that that's not going to be a running gag with this fucking match. I need to stop swearing as well. I do I do apologize. But yeah, this match has gone on long enough, and with all those games we've done before, uh, after this one we're going to be. God damn it! How many ultra balls is that now? Three. Yeah, three. That's three goddamn ultra balls. I do you maybe want to stop anytime soon? Now, are they going to use their V-Star power straight away? No, they're just going to boss out the Amber Palm, aren't they? Yes! Oh, suck my ass! Look at with the start that you had. Okay, full tilt fling. One heads, yes. No, yes. Okay, that's about average. That's about average. Unfortunately, it's only 100 damage, which means we can't even, we can't even two-shot the thing. The problem with playing double turbo, I suppose. Okay, we just need a few more heads here. A few more heads here would be fantastic. But I highly doubt, highly, highly doubt that, uh, highly doubt we're going to, highly doubt we're going to get another heads. I would love another heads and then I'd like four heads in a row, but, oh my god. Come on, give me a draw support. Ah, oh, double turbo. This would reduce it by 40, correct? But, it, but we would get more chances to hit. It's unfortunate, but we have to do it. Come on. Yes. No. 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 Yes. And that does only 40, right? 80. I can't believe that. How many... Seriously, how many more goddamn tails do, does this game want to give me? Come on. After all of that, I deserve a head here. Okay, Star Abyss, double trek and shoes. It's going to be double trek and shoes or a dark patch trek and shoes, surely. Because they need to draw some cards. And I also need a draw support here. So even if Amber Palm goes down, we've got Jurati to draw, you know, one of two cards. We get our top deck and we get another card. If, if out of two cards we don't get a draw support, we just lose. We genuinely just, we genuinely just lose. So hopefully in the next turn we can find something we can use. Come on. Oh, and they of course find it. They of course find theirs. Hmm. Maybe I should maybe I should just focus on bustling. <laughs> come on, give me one more heads, please. Come on, if you can give me one more heads, I'd be very, very grateful. Come on, come on, game. You know you want to do this. You know you want to do this, game. Game, game, you know you love me. Please. Please, game. Please, game. Game, please. Please. Please, game. Please. Give me one more heads. Just one more. That's all I ask for. Give me give me one more heads with this uh, primate dexterity. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. Okay, another Bidoof. That's not uh, that's not what I wanted to see here, but at least it does. Okay, come on. Uh, so what do we need? I still think we need two. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. We've just taken out Dark Eye V-Star. That gives us two prizes. Okay. Draw support. Yes. Okay, okay, that's a draw support. That's a double draw support. 
Okay, we're back in the fucking game. We're back in the game. We're back in the game. We're back in it. We're back in it. If I can... I swear... I think if I get one more heads with this primate dexterity, my opponent's just going to rage quit. <laughs> but I highly doubt it. This will be the turn that we get tails. There's no way we get four heads in a row with primate dexterity. I refuse to believe it. I genuinely refuse to believe it. Marnie, you bastard! No! Why now? Why now? Okay, capture energy is great. A palm is fantastic. Tails, yep, called it. Okay, but here's the thing: uh, if we can find, a, if we can find a, if we can find a cherim here, we should be okay. Uh, how many churn we got? Two in the deck. Uh, we definitely want to set up another A-Palm. Okay, fine. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. What an absolute fucking clown. Let's Professor's Research first. We need to Professor's Research first. Limwood. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's play the Pokeball and see what we get. Heads? Okay, we got a heads. Let's grab the Bowel. Okay, now we dreamy revelation. Cherim perfection. Okay, now we can energy retrieval. We're going to attach one to Jirachi. And then we'll also attach one to the other Apom. Replace the training court with Limwood. Retreat out into the A-Palm with the Capture Energy on it. We're going to Industrious Incisors for one. Okay. And now we're going to Bustle. Come on. Tails, please. Please, give me heads. Give me heads. Give me heads. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think we're going to try and troll our opponent to death now. Just keep Bustle over and over and over again. Okay, Air Balloon to the active. So that gets it out of harm's way, potentially. Marnie, that, uh, that's the third goddamn Marnie. Why? Okay, so we've got Blunder Policy and we've also got Evolution Incense. So we'll be able to keep up at least. Uh, so we're going to put Blunder Policy on an A-Palm. We're going to Evolution Incense for the Barrel. Uh, let's bebow, let's use one Babao for Industrious and size of two cards. Limwood and Marnie. Ma Ooh, I don't want to use Marnie. I don't want to use Marnie at this point. So what we're going to do is going to bustle. Heads. Nope. That's fine. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. If we can somehow get this, if we can somehow do this, okay. Okay, Tool Scrapper gets rid of Blunder Policy. That's fine. As I said, if we can somehow do this, this is going to be absolutely hilarious. So they've got nine cards left in deck now. I, I don't want a Marnie. I don't want a Marnie. Don't want a Bruno. <sighs> okay. Bustle. Tails. Flip again. Heads. Yes. Eight cards. Sorry, no, is this still nine? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they've still got nine cards in deck. I think my opponent may have clocked onto what I want to do. They may have clocked onto it. They can boss around it. Okay, they can definitely boss around it. Uh, blunder policy? I mean, blunder policy, I mean, if we somehow hit double tails, at least it allows us to draw more cards. So, here we go again. Bustle. Tails. Don't, don't want that. So, flip it again. Heads. Oh! Oh my god! No! No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, game. You can't, you can't do my opponent like that, surely. Surely you can't. 
uh there's evolution incense i'm i'm actually genuinely tempted to go for uh to, to go for an ambipom here but i won't actually no i will i will i i will uh, get at least okay so i've got one uh one apom left i got both uh ordinary rod i've got boss so we can boss trap oh my god we can boss trap at this point okay 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 but here's the thing even if we end up losing our apom in the next turn uh we'll be able to uh bruno or marnie or something okay so here we go and and blunder policy allows us to draw more cards so here we go bustle heads no we are not reflipping uh yeah can i just say this is the and there it is victory oh my god let's hear it for the coin flips let's hear it for the coin flips that is ridiculous that's ridiculous what the fuck oh we've only 100 damage off honestly those two prizes that we took when we took them were absolutely crucial because if we didn't get them then uh yeah we were kind of boned beautiful artwork i love gloria with uh galerian moltres it's honestly amazing but okay then <sighs> that is getting way too warm uh i'm gonna run uh, okay so we've been going for an hour and 45 minutes uh i'm going to run one more advertisement and then when we come back uh i'm going to and during the break i'm going to look at how many jatorian dogs that we have because I would like I would like to at least run two of each. Okay, so two Suicune, two two Ente, potentially three Raikou. Okay, but I'll I'll check that during the advertising break. I also need to get myself a cold drink because it is now starting to really spike in temperature here in the UK. And it yeah, it's 29 and I am starting to feel every single degree of that. Okay. Uh later on tonight though it will spike Later today, about 5 o'clock, it spikes at 33, and then and then it goes up and down between 32, 33, 29. God, it'll be 23 at midnight. That's unfortunate. Right. But let's run that advertisement. And when we come back, uh, we can see if we can build that flaffy Jatorian dog deck. And if we can't, we're just going to do one more match with our expanded Reggie deck and see how that performs. So I will see you after the break. Okay then. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I've got two Suicune V, that's great. Uh, Ente. Two Ente, great. Uh, okay, what about Raikou? Two Raikou. Oh, I'd rather have three. Yeah, I'd rather have three. So let's go to trade quickly. Okay, we're back from break. Uh, I'm just gonna have a, I'm just gonna have a quick look, see and see. Pinsa GX. That's that's not great. Don't don't uh, don't be fooled. That's not great. Crobat break. I didn't even know this thing existed. Uh, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. If you do, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards back into the deck. Ouch. That's actually horrible. You'd have to you would have to genuinely have some sort of like continual chain continual chain of crowbats that's not diff that's not easy to do i mean there's one way of doing it in this particular day and age but yeah it's not great uh magma eruption that seems like a very volatile deck truthfully uh anyway right uh so raikou 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 really nobody's trading away raikou v's yeah no nobody uh Oh, uh, no, that's Raikou GX. Raikou EX? Wait, EX? Oh, that must have been amazing back in the day. Um, Okay, 
yeah, I'm not, I can't see any, like, I can't see any, uh, yeah, I'm not, not seeing anything here. Uh, what's this one? Three astral radiance. Kiss my backside. And then all of those for one pack of celebrations? Uh, no. Absolutely not. Oh, wait. Oh, hell no. Oh, wow. That's a real old school. Uh, wow. That is a really old school goddamn Raikou. Uh, this is this is legacy format shit. This is. Uh, retreat cost is one less for every electric energy attached to Raikou. So you put it in the electric deck. Uh, does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance to this damage. 70. Okay. That's actually not bad. That must have been great back in the day. What with, uh, you know, uh, electric support. Well, I say great. It must have been good. It must have been decent. I'm not trading one of my precious, precious champions, Path of Ludens, for a Raikou V. Heck no. Heck no. Uh, Raikou, Raikou, Raikou GX, Raikou V, Raikou GX, Raikou V, V, Raikou V for no. Raikou V for two. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Go to acceptable trades. Go to acceptable. Um, for two astral radiance, no. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a trade. Quick, create a quick trade. Uh, there it is, Raikou V, and we're just gonna give away a singular booster pack because, goddammit, I don't have the time to be wasting here. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I can do Vivid Voltage. I can do... Okay, so you tell you what. Let's give a brilliant start. Stick it on for 24 hours. Kaboom. Okay, then, let's go back to Versus. So what do we end off today with? What do we end off today with? I'm genuinely tempted to do uh, the Reggies one more time. And if that's what we're going to be doing, <laughs> before I forget... Uh, let's go to our expanded decks, expanded titan. Uh, yep. Three matches, three wins. Yeah, we're just going to duplicate that quickly. And we're going to take this one out of, uh, out of our stars. There we go, perfect. There we go. Now, now I can claim that I have a, uh, uh, Freakzility is our fir is first, uh, well, is, uh, chatting for the first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, despite, sorry, this afternoon, it's actually afternoon now, I do apologize. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to trade away one pack for a Raikou V so I can build a Jatoian, a, a straight-up Jatoian deck for the most part. So we're going to be using Flaffy support with uh, three Raikou, two Entei, two Suicune, uh, so we can cover, like, the three basic elemental weaknesses, a uh, bunch of draw support, etc, etc, you know. See... Uh, are you, oh, sorry, are you trying to earn packs on trading? No, 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 I don't do, don't do that. I, no, 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 sorry, 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 I misread the question there. No, 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 I don't, uh, I don't, I don't try and trade four packs unless it's for, unless it's something I genuinely will never ever use and it's not trade locked. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hit up expanded, uh, right to the front, expanded titan. Honestly, this is, this has got to be one of my absolute, I know I built it in like a couple of minutes, but this has got to be one of my absolute favorite expanded decks of all time, simply because it is just, it's just the Reggies. It's the Reggies with Crobat Dedenne support. I, okay, so here we go. We've got three wins with this. Oh, fire and water. This is Volcanian. Oh dear. <laughs> I know exactly what this is going to be, and it's Volcanian, and I hate it. I already hate it. Let's hit them with the hello. An interesting deck idea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I do. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm probably not the first person to come up with that idea, like, at all. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got... We've got Regirock. We've got Regieleki. We've got Regigigas. What do we do first? Honestly, I say we just try and weaken stuff on the bench. So we're going to stick the Regieleki in the active. I didn't see who was going first and who was going second. I actually didn't. So I might have just made a horrendous mistake. But okay, we've got three out of six Reggies in play. Okay, so my opponent is the one going first. So what is my opponent weak to here? My opponent's weak to water. Okay. 
Uh, Volcanian would be able to take an absolute whipping from, uh, from... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's play the Skyfield first and foremost. We need to battle... Comp we do need to battle Compressor. Uh, we're going to battle Compressor away. I want to say two Rainbow Energy because we're about to put a third one in the discard. And I'm also going to put in a Professor's Research. Or we could do Lusamine. Yeah, if we do Lusamine. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got... So we've got uh, no. The thing is, we are just about to use the Dene GX. Okay, so it doesn't chew into... In fact, let's just do... <sighs> Double Rainbow Aurora. Just do that. Play the Dene. Discard, draw six. Let's go. Okay, and... Okay, that's the reason why. <sighs> okay. Can we... Can we actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this? But no, I don't think we can. So if anything, I'm going to put the Reggie Gigas down. Yeah, I'm going to put the Reggie Gigas down. That's our second VS Seeker going to the discard already. Not happy about that one. Uh, we're going to quick ball away the Reggie Gigas EX. We're going to grab a hold of... Okay, so what do we need? Uh, Eloki. Okay, so we need Steel, Ice, and Drago. So let's grab Drago. Okay, and then away goes all of that. Another seven cards. Oh, dear. Uh, we're off, aren't we? Yeah, we are... Uh, we're not attacking this turn. Ouch, that sucks. That actually sucks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the DC onto this Reggie Gigas. I'm going to put the Cape of Toughness onto this Reggie Gigas. And I am going to quick ball away the Aurora Energy for another Reggie. Uh, this time being Steel. And that's it. We've got to call it for that turn. We have to call it for that turn. The other thing I could have done, and, you know, this is probably the stupidest thing, maybe. Uh, I could have put the Floatstone onto the Regieliki, gone into the Dedene, let the Dedene get knocked out, use the Rescue Stretcher, and then use the attack again. Lily? G Jesus, back in the Ultra Prism days, Lily was, like, everywhere, because it was just, like, the best first turn supporter. Okay. That's not what we needed to see. Uh, we also need... Like, that's our... Okay, we need uh, We need something big. We do need something big. We need something... I hate to say it. Lose them in here would actually be really good. Getting, fla getting flashback nightmares. Just a touch. Just a touch. I'll be completely honest. However, the only nightmare I'm experiencing right now is, uh, yeah, the only uh, the only uh, nightmare I'm experiencing right now is not being able to, uh, not being able to do what I want. So I'm just going to attach the float stone, and that'll be that'll be it for the turn. I needed VS Seeker there. I really needed VS Seeker there because I could have VS Seeker for for. Uh, Oh no, uh, well no, I would have VSC could for uh, Professor's Research. That's right, or Battle Compressor. Could have also done a Battle Compressor. <sighs> not, uh, I'm, I'm not in a good position here. I'm really not in a good position here. Thankfully they've already used their supporter with, uh, and I've got the wrong Pokemon on the screen. That's embarrassing. But yeah, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah. This, uh, this sucks. 
God, I need a VSC who would draw support or something. If we don't get that in this uh, in the next couple turns, we're we're done. We actually can't win. Uh, let's see, thirty. So they would have to use steam up all three times here. Is that even possible? Maybe. Come on, give me something I can use. Okay, Lusamine actually works here. In fact, uh, well, yeah, I got no choice. I got to put both of them back in the hand. But fine. Okay, Lusamine works. Because here's what's going to happen. Put down Gigas. Uh, can I need to put down Elaki? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, put a Pokemon. Dedene. We need to. We just need to draw. Okay, we are looking for a way of getting Regice into play here. Surian. What's in the disc? What's in the prizes? Drago. Drago Steel. <sighs> okay. Okay. Not not a fan of this, I'll be totally frank. I am not a fan of this. But what we can do is we can go out into the Regigigas. Uh, we can Battle Compressor. Get rid of the other Battle comp well, get rid of one Battle Compressor and get rid... Get rid of Coal Res. Because we can VSC to that in the next turn. Yeah, give it to both. Yeah, give it. A, in fact, no, give it to the Registeel because there's no way in hell I'm getting. I'm using the EX in, in this fucking matchup. Okay, there we go. Uh, that will have to be it. That will have to be it. How many Raikou V do you need? Just the one. Just the one. Because I've already got two ent. <sighs> why me? Seriously, why me? Um, okay, get rid of Reggie Drago. Okay, how many stadiums is that? Two. Okay, so only two. They might play a third. Ideally, my last, my last guy field is my last guy field I draw. I got you then. Uh, uh my, uh, my, uh, PTCGO name is different than, uh, my PTCGO name is different than my, uh, Twitch channel. Name, uh, Slacker Snorlax PGCGO. Okay, I'll do that after this then. Scorched Earth can seriously. My luck has been absolutely atrocious. My luck has genuinely been absolutely atrocious. It's unfortunate, but it's true. I mean, I mean, what? We're down to seventeen cards, and we haven't been able to find, you know, any sort of. Uh, and we haven't been able to find all six of the different Reggies, despite the fact I play Heavy Ball, Quick Ball. Uh, <laughs> and we've just lost two Skyfields. It is two Skyfields, isn't it? Or is it just the same one? Uh, no, it's the same one, but we've technically lost it twice. Okay, so there's all three Steam Ups, but they can't take out Reggie Gigas in one hit. What if Regice is your top deck? Then I VS Seeker for Lusamine. Lusamine back, uh, Professor uh, Colvez, and. Okay, that's not exactly what I needed to see there. Nah, I've got to get Skyfield back in play. I have to get Skyfield back in play. But what I could all. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to wait until next turn to play it. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to wait until next turn to play that. Yeah, I'm going to wait until next turn. Now, they still need to steam up at least once, but then, but then they can just power heater. This is, uh, this is going to come down to who can hit hardest, fastest, quick, uh, to be quite honest.
How many how many rescue stretches have I used? It's only the one, right? Yeah. So the other one should be in the deck, hopefully. Uh, energy retrieval, fine. So he gets to attach to the last. So he gets to attach to the last Volcanian as well as. Uh, I hate this fucking deck so much. I really do. One steam up and the power heater takes it. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's 30 degrees now. That's just hit. God damn it, I hate it here. Okay, here we go. Thankfully, they haven't, like, bosses... They haven't bosses ordered out the, uh... The other Gigas, which is, you know, good. And we're gonna get... And we are gonna be able to get a humongous hand... Off of this Regigigas now. Sorry, not this Regigigas. Off this Colvez. We are. We are, we are going to be able to get a humongous hand off of this Colvez. Because I'm going to play the Skyfield. I'm going to put down both Rock. I'm going to put down the Regidrago. Uh, yeah, it's going to hit 30 in Denmark. Oh, you're from Denmark. Oh. That's cool to hear. Thank, uh, that's that's uh, really cool to hear. That's actually really cool to hear. Uh, also, I... Also, uh, I hope you I hope you're able to stay safe in the heat. I hope you're able to stay safe in the heat. It's genuinely not fun for any of us. <sighs> okay, bring out the Reggie Gigas. Crowbat, you useless turd. Okay, put down the Drago. Put down the Rock. Attach the DCE to Gigas. What is in the discard? Stuff that I am going to need to get. Uh, play the heavy ball. Do I have anything left? Yes, I do. I've got steel and Gigas. Let's grab the other steel. Okay, so now all that leaves me to get is ice. If we don't find ice... Okay, there we go. We found both of them. Okay, Ancient Wisdom. We're going to 3 Aurora Energy to the Regieliki here. Yes, it will not take out the Volcanian, but it is at least going to set us up very nicely. Shabam. Shazam! <laughs> Okay, so down comes another Volcanian. Okay, we need to weaken each of the EXs. We do. We need to. We we, we do need to weaken each of the EXs if we can, and we need to also weaken down the. Uh, basically, we just need to weaken everything. I hate to say that because it's so like no shit Sherlock, but yeah, we need to weaken everything. Okay, so there's Professor Juniper. They're digging for that last stadium, I reckon. I reckon they're digging for the last stadium, and if they play it, then we are so in trouble. It's not funny. Fuck off! <sighs> okay. Get rid of... Get rid of ice, get rid of steel, get rid of rock. Yeah, I don't have a choice right now. That's upsetting. That's genuinely actually upsetting. Okay, so D so get rid of a so getting rid of a uh, DCE here doesn't affect me too much. We need to rescue stretcher. We need to play Lusamine again. I'm sick and tired of playing fucking Lusamine, okay? Okay, at least we're going to be able to even up the prizes a little bit. A little bit. Not much, but a little. Okay. So first of all, we need to rescue Stretcher. We need to shuffle both Eliki into the deck. We do. We need to shuffle both Eliki, and then who is going to be the most at risk? 
I don't know. But this is our last rescue stretcher, so we need to be exceptionally careful about what it is we're going to be putting into harm's way right now. And this, and I believe this is going to be, our, yeah, it's our last VS seeker. So grab a hold of Skyfield and Colres. Put down the Skyfield again. For, now hopefully they won't have another goddamn stupid stadium. Okay, put down the Reg Ice. Quick ball away. A heavy ball for an Eliki. Okay. We can't take out Volcanian with the Eliki. We can with Drago, and we did put the other Drago back in the deck. Um. But we're going to go out into this other Gigas. We're going to put two Aurora and a Rainbow onto this Gigas. Put a Rainbow Energy onto Eliki. I want to say, do, I want, yeah, I want to say put a Rainbow onto Eliki here. Okay, and then we just Reggie Blast 180, which will just take out, which will just take one out. We get rid of the top deck as well. I didn't see what that was. Quick Ball, decent. Heavy ball doesn't help me out here. What did we get rid of? Uh, ho hopefully it was something. Um, hopefully it was something really useful. I would like it if it was something really useful. We got rid of. They would have to put another Volcanian EX into play. They would. They would have to put another EX into play. They would have to. They're going to, aren't they? And then they'd have to steam up all three times. Wait, but. Did that even do it? Yeah, 60, 60, 190. I think they just missed the knockout here. If that's the case, we... If that's the case... We also need to take another two prizes. Wick, he's player shot. Okay, so basically just a, a way of refreshing our hands. Research. No, that doesn't help me. That actually really doesn't help me. Floatstone onto the active Volcanian. I see what they're going to do. I see what they're going to do. I see what they're going to do. And I forgot to put Guzma in this deck. I forgot to put a boss or Guzma in this deck. I'm an absolute moron. Uh, I'm also going to. I'm also going to, and uh, this is going to upset me. Uh, I also need to. Okay, there's steam up. Yeah, they're just going to do a little bit of chip damage to Reggie Giga. So uh, uh, fifty takes it down to one hundred and fifty. That means only one steam up needed. So what I'm actually going to... So... We need to play the Heavy Ball. We need to play the Jatorian Heavy Ball. And I also, I'm also going to play the Hisuian Heavy Ball just to scout. Okay, so Heavy Ball. Yeah, there's our other two Skyfield. But we're able to grab Reggie Gigas here. <laughs> uh, okay, and let me just... Heavy Ball... Yeah, there's Drago, there's El Eliki. Okay. Okay. Because here's what's going to happen. I'm going to retreat this Reggie Gigas out into Reggie Eliki. Uh, with Reggie Eliki, we're going to take out the other Volcanian. Or do I? Or do I just... No! You know what I could do? No, I can't do that. Damn it! Or we go out into the other Veggie Gigas. Which may have to be the way to go. 
Let me check my discard. Yeah, okay, so I would have more than enough to do uh, Gigaton Break, take out this Volcanion, keep this Regigigas around. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Ancient Wisdom number one uh, sets up this Regigigas' Gigaton Break. Ancient Wisdom number two will help towards setting... Yeah, will help towards setting up uh, this one again. In fact, no, if, if I'm anticipating this one to go, then we just uh, we just attach to Reggie Drago. There we go, we put double... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and now we Gigaton Break, take out this Volcanion. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to come down to the wire. There's Skyfield, so at least we now have a counter stadium, but we don't have any more recovery cards, so we're going to have to be very careful about what it is we're going to get rid of here. I am not liking this. I'm not. I'm really not liking this. There just isn't... I mean... No, it does 100. It does 100. Okay, okay, okay. So I kind of used the wrong red ice. Well, I didn't use the wrong red ice, okay? There were two useful red ice, and I doubled down on one of them. It's just that it's just that 10 damage short, okay? That's the problem. It's that 10 damage short... So there's two. There's three. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Okay, so there's Volcanic Heat. Beautiful. Uh, Reggie Blast is 180. So what I'm going to do... Uh, hold on. One, two, three. Uh, do I have a second one? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to have to bring in the Reg Reggie Drago. Yep, okay, bring, bring out the Reggie Drago. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, we're still we're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. Let's take down the other Reggie Drago and show that we've got it. Uh, play the Heavy Ball. There's nothing left in the deck I can grab a Heavy Ball with. That's fine. We're going to Ancient Wisdom. Yeah, we're going to uh, Ancient Wisdom, three energy to this Regigigas. Oh, you know what? In fact, you know what we can do? You know what we can do? We can scoop up net the Regigigas and then, uh, yeah, okay, we get rid of one float stone, but we can now just set up the Regigigas for, for the next turn. And what we're going to do is we're going to double down. We're going to absolutely double down here. There we go. Perfect. Dragon energy! Whoa! Okay, so that takes out the EX. There's another Sky Field. There's the Hisuian Heavy Ball. It doesn't matter what they bring in. We win. Oh, my God. I can't believe we've brought this back. I can't believe we've brought this back. Okay, so there's Blacksmith. They could actually... In fact, they could genuinely take out... Uh, they could take out Reggie Drago. In fact, they are going to take out Reggie Drago. Yes, there's Steam. There's the additional 30. They need to take out Reggie Drago. Okay, there's the 60, a little overkill, but there's no, there's, there is no kill like overkill. Let's hit them with the well played. Let's bring out the Reggie Gigas and let's hit them with a Reggie Blast! Sorry, my voice kind of broke there. Let's hit them with the Reggie Blast! Yeah! Oh my god, I cannot believe we brought that back. <laughs> you know what? I played the. I, Here's the thing, I played that promo Reggie Gigas as a meme, as a joke. I genuinely, I only played it for a joke. It's like, oh, okay, it's expanded. We can play Battle Compressor. We can get Ancient Wisdom going twice, okay? There's no way in hell this thing can actually be useful. Holy shit, it was! So, yeah, that now... Uh, so yeah, I'll be honest, now that puts me in a difficult position. That really puts me in a difficult position, because uh, we definitely need to be playing a Guzma and or a... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? Excuse me. We definitely need to be playing a Guzma and or a Boss's Orders. 
Seriously, when I was constructing the deck, my mind just completely fucking blanked on those cards. There we go, there's our third Raikou. So at some point during the week, I will construct that Jato the legendary Jatorian deck, and I will uh, absolutely be doing it with uh, some Flaffy support. But yeah, if you want to have a quick look-see at the deck list, I'm just going to throw it up on screen right now. Uh, hang on, wrong button. There we go, and then expand. Okay, so, you know, we were going into expanded, okay, and I wanted to play stuff that was outside of the ordinary, you know. So, you know, I wanted to bring back some blasts from the past, so I've got this full art Regigigas EX, which, you know, with Cape of Toughness, which was the Pokemon I initially put the card in the deck for, with 230 hit points, uh, it could take a bit. It can take a bit of a beating, and with Raging Hammer, uh, which is kind of easy to set up with Ancient Wisdom, it's like you, you know you're, you're doing a you're doing a fair amount of damage. Um, this Regivark I put in simply because you know it's a nice looking Regivark, and come on, when else are you going to see the Crimson Invasion pre-release card again? Uh, the exact same as this Registeel. Uh, like no joking, when when this card first came out with the Crimson Invasion pre-release, people pointed it pointed to the guy in the background because well, my friends pointed to the guy in the background because uh, I'm known for wearing hats quite a lot, and they said, "Steel, that's you in the background, isn't it? It's your it's one of your favorite Pokemon, and it's got your and he has your hat." Oh shit, it is me. So yeah, I uh, I went out of my way to get uh, to get a couple of these it's in real life and online. Uh, this Ridgy Steel has a bit of naturally built in bulk, so even stuff sniping the bench has a little bit of difficulty with it. That's the reason I put the Celestial, Celestial Storm one in here. Uh, you don't really have a lot of choice with Reggie Eleki and Reggie Drago. I mean, you saw the reason why I've picked this Reggie Drago. I mean, the other one is great for draw support. The other one is great for draw support, but that's more so in Standard. In Expanded, where you have access to, like, VS Seeker and Battle Compressor and the Dene and Crobat, you don't really need draw support from, you know, a single prize Pokemon. So it's like, you know, you might as well just go balls to the wall power. And goddamn, it worked out for us. Uh, we're playing three of the Ancient Wisdom Regigigas, which may seem like a little bit of overkill, but we need to be able... But this is the keystone of the deck. You need to be able to continue using Ancient Wisdom. Plus, Gigaton Break does a decent amount of damage uh, on its own. But as you saw, it just lacks that little bit of extra firepower. Honestly, I stuck in this Reggie Gigas as a joke. Like, actually, no kidding. Because of the goofy energy requirement and and everything, it's like, oh, okay, this card isn't very good. You know, I will trade for it because, you know, it is a Reggie, and I am a big Reggie man. I'm a big Titan man. But, uh, yeah, no, it, the, this thing, the Reggie Blast, when we were able to set, set it up, actually proved to be the MVP. And I can't believe I just said that out loud. Uh, we also have Registeel EX for a little bit of sniping onto the bench. Plus, it plus the thing is with uh, the the thing is with both Regigigas EX and Registeel EX, they're compatible with Scoop Up Net. So these are big two prize Pokemon that can have Caper Toughness attached. They take a beating, and then you can just Caper Toughness them. Uh, sorry, Caper Toughness, Scoop Up Net them. Sorry, you can Scoop Up Net them. You know, you're effectively denying a lot of prizes. Now, yes, I had to. I couldn't play both. The thing is, I couldn't play Registeel because it's weak to fire, and that would have been an easy two prize. And I couldn't have played Regigigas because, as you saw, he was my opponent was able to easily get up to the 180 mark, easily able to get up to 180 mark. But uh, yeah, no, I can absolutely see these two be pulling their weight absolutely. And then there aren't that many useful Regice. I mean, there's the Regice that we currently have in standard in the standard rotation with the uh, Icy Barrier. Sorry, not Icy Barrier. What the heck is it called? Uh, Blizzard Bind, sorry. So you've got this one with Blizzard Bind, which does do a 200 against anything that's weak to water, which, you know, is nice. Uh, but it only, but it, but its main effect only really works on Pokemon V, which you are not guaranteed to see in Expanded with the GX and the EXs, etc, etc. At, at least with this, Reg Ice, yes, it's slightly weaker, but you have the ability Icy Barrier. So whatever is in the active, your opponent can't play Stadium cards... The only problem I have with it, it's its attack is far too weak. If it did 20 more damage, or it did, you know, 80 for 3 with sleep, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing, and, that, and I would have been a little bit more tempted to stick it in the active against that Volcanian deck. Um, so what else have we got? 
Uh, no, that about covers it for all the Pokemon. And of course, you got the Dene and Crobat for, you know, your standard draw support. Uh, for Sorry, man. Uh, sorry, man. I got to go. Okay, got to go for the watch, though. And good luck with Legendary Dog Deck. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Freak. Freakzility? It, Freakzility? Is that how you pronounce it? But no, I want to say thank you so much for joining us for that for that last match. Uh, I'm just about to wrap up the stream myself, to be quite honest, because I've been going for a couple of hours now, and uh, I, yeah, I need I need a break, and I need to go and ha probably have a cold shower. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so much. Uh, as I said, I just need to try and find space, uh, potentially, to just stick in one Guzma or one boss's orders uh, for VS Seeker shenanigans. Because I should not have to play VS Eka that many times for fucking Glucamine of all things. But, you know, we, we that was an amazing fight to show how amazing the expanded Reggie format can genuinely be. No worries, intense shit. Have a good one. See you later. Freak, thank you so, so much. You have yourself a lovely day. And please, for the love of God, stay safe in this heat. I'm not a religious man, but, it, you know, it's just such a common turn of phrase, you know, for the love of God, love of all things holy, etc. So, yeah. Please stay safe in the heat. Uh, yeah, plenty of cold water, plenty of shade. Just please stay safe. And have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I know we didn't get to use it at all, but I'm going to stick uh, Reggie Gigas EX up on the screen. Thank you all so, so much for an amazing, amazing stream. Oh, hang on a minute before we do. I've just dropped another link to our Discord in the... Yeah, there we go. I've just dropped a link to our Discord in the chat. If you want to keep up to date with goings on behind the scenes, new animations, emotes, etc., etc., and polls as well for stuff that goes on behind the scenes as well as single player Sundays, uh, please, please consider giving it a follow. Uh, as I say, I just, whenever I go live, I at everyone. Whenever there's a poll, I at everyone. Uh, new emotes and stuff are, are being drip fed into it all the time. Uh, whenever I get the chance to do stuff, because in this heat, it is difficult to concentrate, let alone work. Uh, so yeah, thank you all so, so much for an amazing stream. I really do appreciate it. We got an amazing set of Reggie matches, which I am super, super happy about. I am super happy about it. Um, you have yourselves a wonderful day. Don't forget tonight. Tonight is Super Smash Brothers Saturdays. Uh, I don't know if we'll have a special guest, uh, well, I don't know if we'll have a special guest star as, uh, the same as last week, but I'm hoping so. Uh, and if not, then it's just going to be open lobbies all night. Um, so yeah, tonight is Super Smash Brothers Saturdays. Potentially, I don't have to. I have to see how I feel with the heat because the last time I wanted to do stuff in the evening, it was just too hot. I got sick. It wasn't fun. So potentially tonight is Super Smash Brothers Saturdays. Keep an eye on the Discord server, and I'll keep you updated, ladies and gentlemen, and my non-binary friends. Thank you all so 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 much. For today, it has been absolutely wonderful and it's been a privilege, as always, to stream for you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay safe in this heat and don't forget. And if and those of you who know the saying can say it with me. When life gives you garbage, grab life by the throat and you make it feel the steel. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe. Bye bye.